Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing off my server that is going to be released either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tonight, but there won't be, most likely there won't be a lot of people playing. So send me messages and stuff if you'd like to play. It's uh, on my camera tags on the screen right now. Um, and basically what this server is going to be about is it's going to be a RPG or kind of just a roleplay server in a way. Basically how it works is there's going to be dungeons, there's going to be events. And, um, basically, it's going to be like, sir, it's going to be like factions, but kind of amplified and more ruly and more kind of, um, I guess you could say restricted, but I can't really find the right word in my head right now. But anyways, how it's going to work is when you join in the server, let's, uh, let's act like I just joined in. So how it's going to work is you're going to, you know, join in, um, you're going to see sign saying T31 broke modded villagers. Um, yeah, and then I just write, T31 did break them, um, uh, I don't know how to do it correctly, because I did try modding in the starter kit, um, into a villager, but it didn't work, it just broke the, the, um, save, so, I just d decided I was gonna stack it, um, and give it to people like that, um, so you're just gonna have to message me for a starter kit, um, there's no sign around, because honestly, you should, you know, think about that, um, and I might put that later on if no one asks for a starter kit. Um, so, you know that. Uh, you know, sorry. Um, I'm kind of tired right now because it's pretty late. It's 6. Well, it's not late, but anyways, uh, it's because I, um, I drink, uh, Pepsi, so it put caffeine in my system, and then when you put caffeine in your system, it, your mind doesn't really work the way it's supposed to, I would say. Um, at least to, when it comes to me, it doesn't. Uh, because right now it would normally be making sense, but anyways, uh, how it's going to work is when you join, you're going to join, you're going to look around, um, you would have, oops, well, where's the books, hold on, uh, you're going to, you know, look around, crap, and then you're going to open up your, uh, your book, I did misspell a few things, and that's only because I was using my keyboard, and my keyboard doesn't really work as good, um, when it's plugged into the Xbox, when, when it does on my PC, and plus I'm not really, like, I don't know, like, every area of each button, but anyways, um, how it worked is, this is what it says, it says, rules and info, this is a kingdom RPG roleplay server, for more info, go on, uh, uh, more info on that, go to, uh, Dwemer, I mean, YouTube slash Dwemer, not, you know what I mean, my thing, my YouTube channel, um, anyways, just to let you know, I will be recording a series on this server, just because I am so glad it's finally out, and, um, I will probably wait and see on how long it would take, for me to do the series, because I want a lot of people to be, you know, ready on the server and stuff. Um, anyways, as I was going to say, to join the kingdom, message staff or host after you join the kingdom. You can make people or, wait, you can make people or, ma ah, make people king after three or more people approve the king can be, can do whatever. I meant to put a um, thing there, but I forgot to, but whatever. It says the king can do whatever he wants to his kingdom if you, if the king is, Killed by a player, the new the they they're it's supposed to say there's a new king or there could be a new king selected, um and that's his commands to use uh, command message staff slash host preferably host which is me, as you're gonna say staff I mean not staff war start kingdom name you have to be either um uh, like a war chief rank if uh your kingdom has that rank. And the king actually gets to decide all the ranks and all that crap for the server. Not for the server, but for your kingdom. It's 100% the king's choice of whatever he wants to do to the kingdom. He can dismantle structures. He can add structures. He can command people to build. He can command people not to build. He can force people to pay to build. He can make land free. He can make robbing free. He can make robbing illegal. He can make um, potions illegal. He can make potions um, legal. He can make... Um, enchantments illegal, you can make enchantments not illegal, the only thing that isn't illegal, if you do do enchantments that are illegal, <clears throat> that won't be illegal are the starter kit, because that, no matter what, you're going to always have that enchanted, and you can get in trouble for that, no matter what, and if that is happening, like, let's say that is a law that you're not allowed to use that, um, then, you know, um, like, you're not allowed to use enchantments, and then the, someone is saying that that's enchanted, you're going to get arrested, then just tell them, Tell me and I'll, you know, get them in trouble. But anyways, the war start, again, let's say there's a, like, a, a certain rank, uh, or, like, member of the soldiers, or whatever you want to call it, for a kingdom that gets to control wars and is, like, a chief of the wars, 
uh, then, you know, that person can also start wars and slash end wars, but also, um, the king mainly can, he's the only person that can unless the king allows other people or gives him a rank that can, and also when the king adds a new rank to the kingdom, they have to tell me, um, Dwemer, <clears throat> and anyways, let's get to war end, um, actually, let me explain war start, how's it work is there's three kingdoms or three islands, uh, there's going to be, uh, let me go to them, there's going to be Elven Kingdom, there's going to be Nordic Kingdom, and then there's going to be Barbaric Kingdom, uh, I'm going to be showing you around each kingdom, um, and they're all basically around the same size. The Elven Kingdom is a nice, you know, hilly, but also pretty flat, natural-looking land. Um, every once in a while, I'll be adding more trees. I just want—I was actually trying to rush it, so I didn't add as many trees as I should have. But it's fine. Uh, if you're out of trees, just tell me, and I will add more trees. And you also have to share your supplies. You cannot just like take things from the island and then like, you know, just leave. Or you can't just take things from the island and not share with your people. Um, like, for example, like, the first three people that are in the, or the first four, pe four people, technically, um, let's say there's four people, one person can't go be taking everything, or two people can't be taking everything, you guys have to share the supplies and stuff, if I catch you doing that, then I will kill you, and, um, you know, give everything to the other people, and then give you a warning, um, I might just actually give you a warning first, telling you not to do that, you have to share, and if you can you continue not sharing and giving, some of the materials that is needed to, you know, continue structure, then, or not structure, but continue building, then you have to, you know, ban you for, like, a day, um, because I did warn you, I'll kill you and ban you for a day, because I did warn you, but anyways, how's it gonna work, is, let's say, like, what happens is you mine down a tree, okay, and you have to, like, after a little while of mining it down, and you think that the leaves are fully dec decayed, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go back to the tree, grab the saplings, and then place it around the, the you know, uh, around your base. Because I need people to be able to build their kingdoms and their castles and their houses and all that. Um, and now I'm gonna be showing you the bear, the barbaric kingdoms thing. If I talk funny right now, it's because my lips are like salivating a lot. I don't know why, but it's also I got a weird thing going on in my mouth right now. It's weird. Um, and anyways. Let's get to the um, Barbaric Kingdom. How the Barbaric Kingdom works is, you know, there's going to be loads of trees. And that's because this is honestly my favorite kingdom. And I kind of worked pretty hard on this. And if you're wondering how I got these special lands, I used a, a program on PC. I'm not going to tell you it because I don't want millions of people be using it. And honestly, I mean, there's not too many people that know about it. But a decent amount already know about it. So, like, for example, let's say you're friends with Fire Scotty. You could go ask him or, you know, Mega, Mega Kid Gaming. Or probably art on the wall as well. Um, but anyways, this is like a little volcano added. Because I thought that it would fit well with this kingdom. And if you're wondering why there's loads of cobblestone going over it. It's because um, I accidentally made it where the lava goes down the entire mountain. All the way down over there. So I had to use water to get rid of that. But luckily I fixed it and it looks okay. It looks like it fits with it. Um, but anyways, this I thought it was a cool idea. One of the reasons why I thought it was a cool idea to add this. Is so like let's say your kingdom is based around rituals and stuff or you have like a clan in the kingdom or like a tr uh, or basically like a faction i want to be my faction i don't mean like faction servers faction i mean like you know like skyrim or like oblivion factions um if you want me to show you that i might put a video in the description don't count on it but i might um about some dude that's doing a video on skyrim kind of showing off a faction or something like that but how it's working is basically like for example there's a thieves guild it's a guild that's what the word i was thinking of but anyways it's uh like that's for example the thieves guild um they are based around thieving and stuff like that you can make your own kingdom you're not own kingdom but your own uh, guild and the guild is basically a little team outside the kingdom but which still respects the kingdom and stuff like that i mean if you, it's your choice if you want to be betrayers but every time you select a kingdom you have to wait two weeks before you could switch kingdoms, or you could pay me small do like a small fee of a dollar. Uh, I might I might raise it to three dollars, but for now it's just a dollar to be able to switch your team um, without waiting. And the only reason I do that is because let's say you guys don't want to wait two weeks before you switch your team. For example, let's say you don't like the kingdom you're in, but you want to switch it. I'm gonna make sure you have to pay to do that because I don't want people to be selecting a kingdom, doing a bit of shit on that, or basically selecting a kingdom, griefing it. And then change the kingdom 
But if you do brief a kingdom, or if you start breaking things you're not supposed to break, the king could put you in jail for as long as he wants. If he wants, he could put you in jail forever. And I will take your prison away because the king rules his kingdom. I'm not ruling the kingdoms for you guys. The king has to, or basically the whatever the ruling body is, like a president, a chief, a um, a god. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. Whatever you prefer to be called, whatever your like title is for being like the ruler. Um, I'm actually gonna put this back book back real quick. But anyways. It's your choice, 100% your choice. Um, I know this video is quite long, but I need to make sure I tell you guys about all of this, like all the stuff on this. Um, I'm get, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put this, bring this out tomorrow, and I actually have, I'm gonna actually give you guys some food with it. I'm gonna give you guys some steak. I'm gonna give you guys like half a stack of steak or maybe 16 steak. Um, but we'll see. But anyways, how it's gonna work is like you know you're gonna have to do the stuff. Sorry, I have to like get focused in. Okay, but anyways. Um, let, after you join in and stuff, you gotta select your team. For example, you look at Hitler's, you go like Elven Kingdom. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Barbaric Kingdom. Okay, Nordic Kingdom. Yeah, okay. Let's say I'm like, like, ooh, Elven Kingdom seems cool. It's all like green, and I'm guessing, you know, Elven is probably like natural or something like that. Um, or like stealthy guys. Then you would want to, what you would do is you tell me, you message me saying, slash join, um, that kingdom, and I'll let you in. And actually, I'm gonna grab the books again because I want to. You know, go to that part. Um, okay, as in, as you can see, it says slash spawn, and that's to get back to the spawn. And um, just to let you know, after you join a kingdom, you can like grab a boat and then go to the, another kingdom. But anyone there in that kingdom can kill you. Okay, but um, also don't kill, don't start. I mean, they can kill you, but you cannot kill them unless you act have actual proof that they're in your kingdom. That they're not in your kingdom. For example, let's say the king. He will know everyone that's in the kingdom. For example, once you guys select the king, then um, you have to message me, tell me that that, that guy's the king. Um, then what will happen is after that is um, I'll message him anytime a new person joins his kingdom. But let's say you're a normal player and you see a random guy in the area and you don't know who he is and you kill him. I will tell you that he is in his kingdom and you would have to give all this stuff back. Okay. Um, or, but if he isn't in your kingdom, I won't tell you, and I will just leave him, you know, whatever, uh, cause that's fair enough, because, for example, let's say I'm in the Barbaric Kingdom, and I've, I, um, swam over to the Elven Kingdom, and it's actually really hard to figure out where the kingdoms are, unless you know the map really well, you're not gonna be able to find them without, like, searching for a while, cause, I mean, look at this, like, that doesn't look like a long distance, but you won't even start generating in the chunks, like, let me go off. You won't start generating it, generating in the chunks until you go over to here. So you'd have to go a small distance to start generating things, and then you have to, you know, go that small area. The Elven and Barbaric Kingdom are the easiest to like attack each other, uh, cause they're like, right next to each other. But honestly, in my opinion, the Nordic Kingdom is the hardest to attack, and it's honestly like it's probably the best ap approach if you're not looking for wars or anything. I mean, that doesn't look like a like a small dis uh, distance, but look at that. That side is covered by lava, and I doubt that anyone will go over by this side to try to find a kingdom. This one is really, probably really hard to find, and it's honestly the probably the biggest, because as you can see, this is pretty huge. Um, I'm not going to pick this kingdom. I'm definitely going to be picking the barbaric, but if there is, let's say there's three people, uh, let's say there's five people in the game. Three people are on the barbaric kingdom, and then one is on the elvish kingdom. And then you want to join the barbaric, I'll tell you, I'm sorry, you can't. There's too many people in the game that's on that kingdom at, at the time. Um, you have to pick another one, and I'm sorry about that. But um, if that does happen, I'll probably only have you wait a few days, probably like five days, three days. Um, but it, it depends until you can switch your team, because that one is the only real reason I would like allow that. Um, but anyways, um, as you can see, you know, there are all those kingdoms, and again, if you do end up griefing a kingdom, like, let's say you have, like, you get TNT, you switch your team after waiting a few weeks, and then you place it all over the map, I will ban you for a month, because that is bullshit, you are not allowed to do that, I don't care, like, if you think that's Colin says betraying or whatever, but that's not allowed, you actually have to, like, you have to play legit, guys, after you switch your kingdom, you actually... Begin a new life as a new person. Uh, you can pretend like you are like the ancestor, or not the ancestor, but the um, like the grandchild of like the guy that used to be on the old kingdom. It because it is a roleplay server and you're supposed to roleplay things. 
Um, I'm gonna actually show you off the staff. And if you want to sign up for staff, just tell me, message, you know, Dormer on Xbox saying you want to sign up for staff. But you actually have to at least play the server for like a few days and, uh, you know, be actually into the server. Um, but, anyways, as you can see, first off, there's co owner Art on the Wall. Um, and then there's co owner Waxer, which is one of my friends, and then owner me. And then head admin Petro Bros. Uh, that used to be one of, someone else, but then he ended up being a, you know, doing dick move, and then he removed me. So then, um, you know, now it's Petro. So, you know, there's that. Um, also, uh, the staff board is down here, and the ad, one of the admins is Serve, which is one of my friends. Um, I know this video is pretty freaking long, but I'm sorry, it's, I just really wanted to get this out there. Um, and anyways, these are the dungeon events. How this is gonna work is there's gonna be dungeons, or like, you know how, okay. Let me try to figure out how to explain this. Okay, you know how the, there was the stronghold, um, like the one where the, the end portal is? That's gonna be like that. Basically, how it's gonna work is there's going to be like, you know, tunnels and rooms, and each room there's gonna be a special thing. For example, in one room, there might be like a, uh, a zombie spawner. You are not allowed to break the spawners when you enter a dungeon. But anyways, let's say there's a dun uh, zombie spawner. And also, after you en enter a dungeon, you can't leave on this until you finish the dungeon. Or you, um, or you, like, been in there for more than five minutes, because you can't just enter, check it out, and then leave. You actually have to be in there for at least five minutes before you can leave. If you give up, you have to wait five minutes. Uh, you can leave the game and then join back after that five minutes is up. Um, but I will tell people when they join the dungeon, and I probably have a sign, uh, saying that. But anyways, how it's gonna work anyways, so the dungeons, it's gonna be like this stronghold, there's gonna be like, there's gonna be corridors, like, I mean, like, you know, hallways and stuff, leading to rooms, one room might have like a zombie spawner, one might have a blaze spawner, and then one room might have like a puzzle that you have to do to get to a loot room, and then you might have to defeat a mini boss to get a loot room, and the loot room will probably like, like, drop like gold or drop like stuff in it, or maybe there might be like another mini boss in that loot room, and it might be like, you know, loot goblin or um loot troll or something like that basically like a or maybe like or maybe like a coin coin gobbler or something like that you know it'll be like another creature that is just gonna be like rich as hell and when you kill him he'll give you a certain amount of stuff um it'll give you like a pretend percentage of getting something for example when you kill him you might get like you know you might get a um a diamond sword with sharpness six and the same with bosses and mini bosses and events how that works that those events are basically gonna be like you know, a boss that everyone can fight together. It might just be a special little arena with a boss in it. Uh, Petro just messaged me. I'm guessing it's about the stream. Okay, yeah. apparently he's postponed. He's postponed. Post po postponed the live stream. Uh, if I heard that correctly, but whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna get back to this video. And I know this is really long, and I'm so sorry that this is so long, but I really want to get everything out there. Uh, I want to make sure everyone knows what's happening. I'm actually going to take a quick screenshot so then I have that for the, um, the, the thing of the video. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's basically it. If you guys want more info, I'll make a part two of this video if you want me to do it, cover everything. I haven't really covered everything. There's so much more. Um, also, one more thing. There's going to be no villagers because, um... T tier 31 broke the villagers, so I can't mod them in properly. Uh, even Art's been having problems with that, and he's using the old mod tool, so you know that's a problem. I'm actually using MBT editor. I'm not sure if it's fixed yet, because I do. I did update it to the version 9, but if you guys know anything about that, you can uh, please comment down below telling me, um, because that would be so useful. But, um, anyway, sorry I'm talking so fast and I'm trying to get this video done with, but anyways, if you guys want more info, make sure to leave a comment down below saying, uh, don't understand more info, and I'll make a video for each inv inv individual part of the, of the server, for example, I'll make a, a, um, part explaining wars, I'll make a part explaining kingdom rules and kingdoms, how they work, a part uh, explaining dungeons and events, a part make explaining, um, you know, shop, uh, and stuff like that, a part explaining, you know, every, every little thing, uh, even a part explaining the rules, and that, I'll probably have four parts, uh, out of everything, so, you know, I'll make sure to do that if you guys want that, but if you want that, leave a comment down below saying, uh, explain, like, everything in different parts or something like that, and I'll do that, make sure to leave a like if you think the server is awesome, and if you want to join, 
Uh, you don't have to leave a like there if you want to join. You just got to leave a comment down below saying your gamer tag or message me on Xbox saying I want to join your Kingdom RP server. Um, and then I'll add you. Um, and if you have a full friend, just make sure to delete someone or just add me. Send me a friend, friend request and then message me saying you want to join my Kingdom RP server because I want to make sure that's why you're trying to add me and it's not so you can join Petro's server. But anyways... That's basically it. I know this video is long, but if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Um, you know, thank you for everything, guys, and uh, I'm so happy that this service is finally going to be out by probably tomorrow, but anyways, see you.